this video we are going to understand why regenerative braking is not possible in DC series motors. Now here I have drawn a connection diagram of DC series motor where this is the DC source, this is the series resistance RAC, this is the armature resistance RA and the generated DAC EMS this is ED. Now for rotation of the motor, motion of its armature there is required a generation of torque in the motor. Now in DC motor or DC generator the, the generated torque is proportional to the phi and IA where phi is the flux and IA is the armature current. Now if we consider a DC series motor then from source a series current IAC is coming this series current is passing through this field resistance that is RAC and creating a flux that is your phi. Now this phi is directly proportional to the IAC. This same current IAC is going and passing through the series resistance or armature resistance RA and going passing through the motor. So your armature current IA is also proportional to IAC. Now for braking suppose the motor is rotating in clockwise direction so that the torque is also in clockwise direction. For braking of the motor what we really need to do is to generate an anti-clockwise torque so that the speed of the motor gets reduced. Now how could you generate this anti-clockwise torque? I have already said earlier that torque is proportional to your flux and armature current. Now for generating an opposite torque of which the motor is rotating, what you really need to do is to either reverse the direction of the current that means the armature current that is the negative IA or reverse the direction of the flow of flux. Now in DC motor whenever there is a regenerative braking occur then your EB that means the back EMS becomes greater than your supply voltage V. That is why the current from the motor is going to the source. Clear? Now when the current is reversed then IAC this is also reversed but this IAC is the reason of generation of flux that means your flux and current armature current both are reversed that is mean if I take torque is equal to phi I now reversal of your series current that means minus IAC or equivalent to minus IA we can write torque is equal to minus phi as I've already discussed here and minus of IA that means your torque is equal to again phi and IA that means you are not getting the opposite torque of the rotation of the present direction of motor and you can't reduce the speed of the motor okay so this is the condition why this series motor can't be used for regenerative braking but in case of locomotive or in case of high 
fraction purpose you need to use DC series motor so to overcome this constraints what is done so during regenerative braking the DC series motor has to be connected either as a separately excited motor or a shunt motor connection that means you need to connect this shunt connection not the shunt this, this series field resistance connection as a shunting like this connection and use this RAC transform into a shunt connection that is RSH during the regenerative braking so that as per the equation the flux and IA your flux remains constant that means if your current is reversing the flux current is not changing its direction that means the direction of flux is same but the direction of IA is reversed that means your torque becomes a negative torque and it is helping to reduce the speed of the motor and creating a braking so I hope this explanation is clear to you regarding the regenerative braking the constraints of the problems of using as a, a DC motor for this purpose and changing it into a shunt motor or separately excited motor uh, maybe using a power contactor or any other means so that we can use the regenerative braking in DC motor also thank you for watching if you have any query please do mention in the comment section I can come up with a explanation of the doubts thank you